Hello, this is Craig. We're at Goods and Guitars here in Odessa, Texas. Thanks for watching. In episode five, we're going to be working on the rosette. So y'all stay tuned. And if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and smash the bell. All right, this is our, our spruce top. We've got our outline for our uh, deal. And remember, we're going to cut it uh, probably about a quarter inch extra big all the way around just so uh, when we put it on, we got stuff to work with. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get that done. This blade's been screaming at me for a while now. It needs to be replaced, so it's probably going to be loud. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to run it through the thickness sander and get it uh, close to final thickness. All right, so we have our uh, top thickness and cut to a rough shape. So what I'm gonna do now is put the, the shape back in it, or the outline, so I can see where I'm at and what I'm doing. Uh, I picked the side that I wanna use. This one I'm gonna use, uh, that joint is so good I can barely see it. The reason I'm using this side is because this board's got a natural cup to it and, and I, I'm going to put a dome in it. Uh, so that way when we put the uh, 40 foot radius embracing in it, it just naturally is going to go that direction because that's where it's wanting to go now. And so... Uh, once we get this uh, outline back in here, then we're going to lay out our um, rosette and our sound hole, and then start working on the rosette. Um, now, one of the things I'm going to do, uh, so I'm going to lay this neck out to where I know how far it's going to come in, which is right there. And then I'm going to take my fingerboard and we're going to put it at 12. And center it up. So now I know... That's where my fretboard is going to be. And so everything else is going to work out. So we're going to make a mark in the center right there for our sound hole. And we'll make sure that's in the middle of the board, which it is. Now we need a compass. So we're going to bring this in. And then this is going to be our the size of our sound hole that, that will stay there for quite some time and then eventually it will get cut out so we go back up and we know that if we're going to attach it to 12th fret I'm going to put a mark Right here, and then I want to make sure that the connection point of my rosette is up in here somewhere. Uh, 
bit too far. We'll come out right here. And then we'll make a line. And so this is the inside line of our rosette. And then I want the rosette on this one to be probably three eighths. So we'll run out to three eighths. No, I can tell by looking at that I don't like that. So we're going to go to a half. And that's that. Alright, so now we got okay. now I need my eraser. Get rid of this stray line so I don't end up doing something stupid with it early later. Alright, so now we know that everything's gonna line up. Okay, so we got all our scrap pieces of the Zercote laying around and we probably will throw some other pieces of stuff in. So the one of the things that I do on my rosettes is um, I kind of split it and uh, man, I really got that seam good. Cause can't tell if that's yeah. all right so I know for sure that's it and that's it and so yeah looking at it I got off so we're gonna have to correct that real quick uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a center line right there because it's hard to see And so I'm going to take and split this with a half inch gap. So I'm going to go a quarter inch on either side and then go a quarter inch on either side there. And I'm going to do a construction line down and down and then erase this because the rosette's going to come around and then down so what I need to do now is I'm going to put this piece of paper right here and then I'm going to take the compass And I'm going to draw that line again and then we're going to come down and we're going to draw this line again and then just for good measure we'll put the sound hole in now the reason for that is I'm going to make my template to get both sides the same I'm going to have it come down an inch, so it's going to stop right there, and then it's going to come over and then do that number. And these two pieces are going to be shaped like so. So now I'll cut that out. So this will be the first piece of our rosette and it will go like so. And then we'll cut pieces and work our way all the way around and then I'll flip this over and do another one. So we're going to do the first one on here. Now these two, they don't book match uh, very well. 
So, but it's not, you know, you try to find a piece that book matches so they look the same, but what I want is just uh, something that's uh, appealing to the eye. I mean, we could do it out of these two right here. Cut those to fit that. It's just uh, kind of like making a puzzle and then putting it together yourself. So I'm going to sharpen this pencil. Trace that out. And then we're going to go cut it up on the bandsaw. And then uh, I'll use it to make the other one. So let me get set up for that. Alright, so we got that one cut. And so we're going to flip it over and make another one. This is the opposite of it. Um, and then from there, we're, we're really just going to kind of go at this. Uh, kind of hard to explain it. I just start piecing things together. Uh, I'll glue them to a substrate. So um, I can route them into a circle because it's not going to end up being a perfect circle. Um, there's going to be, like, I may take, cut a piece of this since, you know, that, that line kind of blends in with it right there, that, that line. And then this piece will get cut like so. And then we'll lay another piece and then we'll just keep piecing them around until we have the full rosette. Uh, so I guess I can just let the camera run, do my thing, and then I'll time lapse it. So uh, here we go. Okay, so I got all my pieces in. Now what I need to do is I'm gonna run it through the thickness sander and uh, mill it down pretty thin. Uh, and then once I get done with that, we're gonna do another little trick and uh, then we'll cut it out and that'll give us our rosette and then we'll get it inlaid. So I'll be right back with that. There, now you can see it. Now you can't, now you can. No, you can't. Okay, so where we're at at this point, we have everything sanded down to the thickness that I want it to be. And I've got the substrate taped down. And then we've got our bit and our router tool with our little spindle circle circumference Duma flotcher. And now we are very carefully going to cut this out very slowly. And then when we get to this point right here, it's all going to end up being done by hand because it curves around, but I want this to come up to right there. So once we get to this point, that point right there, we're going to stop. Same thing over here. This is going to curve around and we'll clean that up by hand. And then when we do the, the rosette part uh, on the soundboard, 
we'll put two marks right there we'll trace this thing out that way when we come around cutting it out with the same tool we know we need to stop at this point and because uh, I'll, I'll swing all the way around through here but then all of this will have to be cut out by hand but it's not hard All right, so using the jig and, and getting the top down, I have the rough uh, pocket for the rosette cut in. So now what we need to do is clean this up right here. And uh, we may have to take it down a little bit further because uh, when I run it through the sander to get my final thickness, I don't want... Uh, to sand all the way through so we may make it a little deeper but first we got to get all this out of here and see where we're at so i'm going to do a lot of this by hand uh it's with a good sharp chisel it's not hard uh so you just got to take your time and work it i have lots of different sizes chisels micro chisels and it's all uh, just slow process. Yeah, we're going to take that out a little bit more, but I'm going to get this side uh, cut out first. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm cutting with the X-Acto knife to the depth that I want to be. And it gives me a knife wall uh, to work against with the chisel. You start these out very light strokes. To cut through the grain especially going around this curve where you're cross cutting the grain and then also here start out with light strokes and just slowly work your way down until you're at the depth you want to be all right so my little jig is just a piece of uh well hell you can't even see that there we go just a piece of pine it's been cut down. I got a screw going through here that's the uh, same diameter as my post. Uh, and then we're just going to use a little bit of uh, wood glue. Like so. And then we're going to uh, smear said wood glue around. Uh, now this top and rosette, gold inlay, everything else we're going to do is going to go back through the thickness sander one more time. Uh, well, several times, but we're going to take it down to 220. So, um, not too worried about squeeze out and things like that at this point. So, we're going to get her in there, rotate it around, make sure we're all the way in 
rotate it some more until everything drops in. Now, a big glob of squeeze out like that has to go, so I gotta find a rag. Because I am never prepared. Never prepared. So y'all talk amongst yourselves, I will be right back. And I'm back. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get this big glob out right here. Kind of clean it up just a little bit. Now the next step in this process is very, very important for two reasons. One, we want to make sure that we are embedded as much as possible. Now, I need to, uh, yeah, we'll do it like this. All right, so I'm going to push this down in there with the back of this chisel to make sure it's in there all the way around. And then the second step is very important. Take some wax paper, put it in between the rosette and your board. That's going to help you clamp. And then you take your wing nut. And we clamp that down. And what that's going to do is it's going to hold pressure on all of that. And if you don't think you're getting enough right there, you can always take a cam clamp or something and stick over the top and push down, which I'm going to do. So let me grab one of those real quick. Again, not prepared. And hopefully I grabbed the right size. Yes, I did. And so we're just going to put this cam clamp right there and put a little pressure down, hold that in. And we're going to look at it and make sure that cam and that pressure hasn't forced this thing into some weird shape. And it hasn't. And then we're going to let that dry. I'll probably let it dry for an hour, maybe two. Uh, i got plenty of other things to be working on. So when we get back, uh, we'll get this bad boy finished up. And get the sound hole cut out after we do our grooves. You never want to cut that sound hole out until you're completely done with your rosette because that's your center point and if you cut it out you're just screwed. Only other way of putting it. So I'll get back to y'all when we're ready to move forward.